Right, this is a quick video on connecting some buzz bars up together. It's a pretty straightforward, simple job, and I think just for logistical reasons, the uh, distribution board or panel arrived in two parts, and I've got the job of connecting all the buzz bars in the back. I don't know whether brushing them here is strictly necessary because the connectors have sort of uh, teeth on them, and a bite probably into any unoxidized aluminium when they get tightened up to spec but i think it's good practice nonetheless it doesn't really hurt i think a uh, a scotch bright pad would be better here because i can get in between the bus bars but i'm just doing the best with what i've got which is a, a brush here definitely need to get like a toothbrush or something to help with the grease application because I, I i mean using your finger isn't best practice it's a pretty simple, well-designed connector though. It's uh, really easy to install. You don't need a, uh, a spanner on the back because it's got like a sort of locking gate for the bolt head. They're actually pre-greased, but I'm going to add some extra anyway. As I, uh, I again sort of adopt a belt and braces approach to most procedures and I just don't, don't see why not. Practically as well, it's a, a tight space and uh, putting the grease onto the actual connector is easier than trying to get in the back and in between the buzz bars. I actually uh, here applied it to both and I tried on a separate connector, which we'll see later, just applying it there. And I think sort of a hybrid approach of using a toothbrush and putting grease on the connector is probably the ideal solution. This is just one of those jobs though, it's something that you do so rarely. This is probably like the third time I've done this, working with this specific connector, so uh, best practice isn't ironed out yet, and it's like I'm doing the best to my knowledge and following the instructions that I have available. These are M12 bolts and the torque for these is 75 newton meters. It's quite a lot actually in this tight space it's really difficult I mean, it doesn't look that like i'm struggling but it, it takes a lot of force to get that up to uh, spec simply can't get the leverage because of the uh, sort of restrictions of the space mm -hmm. best practice obviously here is to always alternate the sequence in which you tighten the bolts to ensure that you're distributing any load evenly have to give up on the extension as well and just found a little bit more space in, in the back area there. There's like a lot of grease on the top there. I think it's a product of me applying grease to the buzz bars and also loading that connector up with grease, but I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. Any excess you can just wipe off. Definitely giving it some tightening this up though. It is a, it's a bit of a fight. Got there in the end though, and something I always do with a sort of dual bolt tightening system is to check the first bolt after I've got uh, torque on both of them. So this is just another look uh, at installing one of the connectors. I referenced this earlier, this example, I didn't put grease on the buzz bars, I just loaded the, uh, the connector up with uh, contact grease and what you can see here is as you push the connector up some of the grease uh, sort of gets left behind so I think if you lightly coat the buzz bars a bit of extra on the connector then you can't really go wrong so all in all not really much to this it was a bit of a, a learning process for me as well giving it a good fight again. 
trying to <laughs> trying to tighten it up. But thanks for watching if you made it to the end. Okay, bye bye.